हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज़ अनुभूति फ्राम सनसिटी डॉट कॉम एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी टूडे इन द वीडियो एज यू नो फ्राम द टाइटल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू ब्लश पैलेट बाय द बाम इट इज़ कॉल्ड द बाम ऑटो बाम गर्ल पाउडर चीक्स ऑन द गो ब्लश पैलेट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर रेड यू लेट्स स्टार्ट first we'll talk about the packaging it comes in a super pink bright pink cute packaging the outer packaging is a paper sleeve like this there is a product name on the front side and on the back side you can see the four uh, four uh, shade names which are included in the palette according to the balm there are three blushes and one topper uh, in the palette the blushes are Houston street bourbon street bleaker street and the blush topper is fifth avenue there is also ingredient list mention Uh, on the outer uh, paper sleeve the actual product is contained in this uh, tin packaging and uh, this is how the packaging looks like there is a mirror uh, there is a mirror in, in it and then uh, there are four blush uh, four pans so these uh, three are the blushes which are Houston street bourbon street bleaker street and this is the blush topper Uh, which is called Fifth Avenue. Let you see a little ribbon here, so then you can just pull the ribbon, and this comes off like this. And then you can repurpose this packaging for any other use if you want, or you can easily depot these shades because this is cardboard packaging. So you can easily depot these uh, pans and put it in your magnetic palette if that is something you like. So that is just also I wanted to mention something about the packaging. Coming to the texture, the blushes are super soft to touch and super uh, uh, powdery also. Uh, so as soon as you dip your brush into it, it's just uh, there is a lot of kick off. And by kick off, I mean lots and lots of kick off. So just uh, I wasn't expecting it uh, when I first time used it. So just uh, I'm putting it out there. So it's like as soon as you dip your brush into it. this there is just lots and lots of fallout see i'm just lightly putting it and then so what i would suggest is just uh, pick up on dip your brush tap off the excess and then apply otherwise you can easily go overboard with it also you can see blush getting all over your cheeks all over your face so that is something i wanted to put it out there um talk about uh, the shades there are three shades uh, three blush shades which are all matte so uh, the Houston street is like soft peach color light peach shade and the second one bourbon street is like a uh, deep berry tone mauve and then third bleaker street is like natural brown toned or natural terracotta toned uh, blush and then uh, the blush topper is peachy pinky let me swatch it for you first I will swatch the shades here. So first we have Houston Street, which looks like this. It's like I I told you, it's like the light peachy shade. Then we have Bourbon Street, which is like the berry toned, berry toned mauve. So this is the Bourbon Street. This is uh, the Bleaker Street, which is warm. brown toned terracotta sort of shade and then we have the blush topper fifth avenue this is the blush topper so for deeper skin tones uh, this can also work at work as a highlighter but for on my skin tone it just works as a blush topper so these are the shades Yeah, into the performance. So if I apply it in the morning, uh, uh, it looks presentable by end of the day, and I do not face any uh, much fading or transferring throughout the day. But I did notice that these shades tend to look deeper uh, as uh, the time passes throughout the day. So that is something I noticed with these. Let's summarize the pros and the cons. The pros are that I absolutely love blush palettes. Um, and especially for traveling purposes this is quite compact packaging quite sturdy packaging um and uh, you get three matte shades which are kind of uh, very frequently uh, 
shade used shades uh, which can go easily with any kind of makeup look you're wearing so uh, and you have one blush topper so uh, this is uh, something I really like about this one. This is uh, on my face today. I have uh, mixed Houston Street and Bourbon Street and apply it on my face and then I topped it off with uh, the topper. You can apply, uh, if you're a fair skin tone, you can apply this blush topper as a blush on its own. If you just like the little bit of glow on the cheek, then you can get away uh, with this uh, as a blush on its own. And if you have deeper skin tone, you can apply it as a highlighter. So that is all. I think this is, uh, the shades are pretty pigmented. They are really soft to touch. Um, and uh, I have never struggled with any uh, stain power issues. And now coming to the cons, the packaging. <laughs> Again, though it's sleek, it's sturdy, but it is very uh, hard to open. So if, if it is closed like this, then you really have to struggle uh, to open. Especially if you have larger nails, I imagine you will face the problem opening this one. Also, the pen size is very, very small. Uh, so this is like the regular br blush brush. If I try to put the brush here, I cannot use it in the single pan. So I just have to, if I'm applying, if I'm picking a product, I just have to pinch my brush like this to pick up the product on the brush. And then I tap off the excess and then I apply. Uh, so yeah, the pen size is very small for blush, I feel. So either you have to use a smaller blush brush or you have to pinch your brush to get the product. The powders are not very hardly pressed. So that means you are getting lots and lots of kick off in, kick off in the pan. So just be careful about it. Always tap off the access before you uh, put your blush brush on the cheeks. Otherwise, you might see uh, blush flying all over your face. Uh, that is that can be a mess uh, one more point I want to mention is this uh, the three shades are very universal but this is a very light blush shade so I'm not sure how it is going to work on the deeper skin tones other than that um, the shades are very pretty very useful um do I think it is worth the purchase I would say if you have these shades already in your collection and uh, this is not something you're looking for, um, maybe you have all these three blush shades in your collection, uh, then you might not need this one. But I would say this is quite a compact uh, blush palette to travel with, um, having all at one place. So yeah, I really like it. Uh, I bought it uh, from the Balm uh, on their 50% sale, which they have quite often. So if you manage to uh, purchase it in 50% off sale, I think it's totally worth the price. Um, I do wish to travel with this one uh, very soon. This was in my shop, my stash for the month of February. And I have been using this blush palette for the whole month. Uh, and I applied, I almost reached for this palette almost 90% of the time I did my makeup, so which is about uh, 20 days uh, and still I haven't hit pan on any of these despite having uh, so much fallout. So I think this is totally worth the price and the balm products are really good value for money. So that is all for today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. And uh, if you would like to uh, see more such videos, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, till that time, take care. Bye-bye.